Oi? something to tell you ah! that was 1954 I died due to the explosion of the water heater if the hot water supply was installed correctly I wouldn't have died What is the correct way to install hot water supply in hotel? In hotel, different temperature of hot water is needed for various applications like bathing, cooking, and laundering. So hot water supply is definitely a must in hotel. Any failure in installing the parts in the system can lead to severe explosion. So heating boilers must be installed correctly to ensure the safety of human life and property. There are four types of heating boilers that can be applied in hotel, which are steam heating boilers, hot water heating boilers, hot water supply boilers, and hot water heater. So these are the installations of the four boilers. The first is steam heating boiler. This is a boiler that is used for heating purposes by generating steam. So basically, the input is fuel and feed water, whereas the output are the products of combustion and steam. During the steam generation process, feed water is heated by a burner in a furnace and the steam is generated in a boiler. In hotel, this type of boiler is normally used in steam cooker in cafeterias and restaurants to cook food by steam. This is because steam cooking method can maintain the original flavor and the nutrients of food. The second one is hot water heating boiler. The process of hot water generation is quite similar to the steam generation process. The only difference is that the boiler generates hot water instead of steam. In this boiler, the input is fuel and feed water where the output are the product of combustion and hot water. The pressure produced in the boiler forces the hot water to discharge through the main pipe. In hotel, this type of boiler is usually used as booster for the dishwasher in the kitchen. The booster is used to boost the temperature of regular water from 43 degrees Celsius to 82 degrees Celsius. Because water at 82 degrees Celsius may be used as sanitizing rinse water in dishwasher. Hot water supply boiler is the another type of water heater. A hot water supply boiler is mostly used for supplying domestic hot water and also used for industrial process applications. In a hot water supply boiler, input is filled and feed water is heated by a burner in the furnace and domestic water is generated within the water tube. Hot water supply boilers are classified according to their usage and purposes. The following are the most common hot water supply boilers. First, hot water supply boilers without tank. Second, hot water supply boiler with tank. And lastly, cool heaters.
Here is the comparison table of both can and tanless water heater. In terms of size, the water heater with tan is big and bulky. On the other hand, the tanless water heater can save up to 40% of electricity and has unlimited cold water supply. The need of having a storage tank is eliminated and therefore offers a variety of benefits. For one, the cost of having to install a storage tank for hot water is eliminated. Also, it can provide considerable savings in terms of energy use. In a nutshell, tanless water heater is still a better option if compared to a water heater with tank. Hot water heater is the last type of water heater. Water heaters in general are classified as residential water heaters and commercial water heaters. Residential water heaters are used for supplying portable water to houses, apartments, condominiums, and other residential buildings. Commercial water heaters are used to supply portable water for commercial buildings industry, office buildings, and other commercial locations. So, in order to keep the boilers in a safe operating condition and improve boilers' availability, maintenance should be performed on boilers. Tube cleaning will be the first thing to do. The surface of the tube should be clean and scale-free for a boiler to function efficiently. There are two types of tube cleaning which are mechanical tube cleaning and chemical tube cleaning. The other one of the maintenance is tube expansion. It is also known as tube rolling. Tube expansion is defined as technology of reducing a tube wall by compressing the outside diameter of the tube against a fixed container which is expanding tubes into tube sheets or drums by using pneumatic tools. Lastly, refractory maintenance. Refractories are heat resistant materials that constitute the lining for high temperature boilers, reactors, and other processing units. For the case study, both hotels are using solar water heating system to supply hot water. This shows the hot water supply system for the overseas hotel. Royal Orchid, Sheraton and Towers and this is how it works. The heat transfer fluid gets heated up by solar energy after passes through the solar collector. Then it transfers the heat to the water through a heat exchanger in the storage tank. After that, the heated water is pumped to the hot passing system to room, laundry, jacuzzi and kitchen. And this is hot water supply system for the local hotel, Joseph Pontic Hotel. It's not as complicated as the overseas hotel. The water from the main supply is pumped to the water storage tank followed by the solar panel collectors for heating up. Lastly, the heated water will be discharged to rooms after being heated. Generally, a solar hot water system consists of many problems. The main problem is low solar energy input. This signifies that there is not enough solar energy collected to generate hot water during night, winter, or rainy day. Luckily, there is a solution, which is installing heat pump connected to the water storage tank. Therefore, there is nothing to worry anymore during winter, night, or rainy day. So, in a nutshell, heating boilers should be installed correctly based on the rules and regulations to ensure that it is safe to protect human life and property. Love is on.
Can you come over my house to check the water heater? Let us by tomorrow. Okay, thank you.